my name is Lori Hartwell, and I was diagnosed with kidney disease back in 1968 at age of two. And since then, um, I spent uh, 13 years on dialysis and am on my fourth transplant that's doing well. I've been in the healthcare system for 50 years. And it's been interesting because I'm extremely grateful for the system, but also it's, it's challenging when policies or quality measures or payment don't always align up because payment drives practice. And if you don't have the payment correct, it just, it, it just doesn't uh, get the right outcome in my opinion. You know, I'm a, I'm a product of innovation, but uh, recently there have been a number of innovations that have uh, will improve people's lives. And um, currently right now, um, CMS created two programs, TDAPA and T-Pines to help uh, accelerate innovation. And I'm very grateful that they recognized how important it was. But with the current innovation of Tadapa, which helps with orals uh, medications or IV medication that patients get during dialysis, it really falls short. And let me explain how it works. Um, a company brings a product to market and they have two to three years to get the product to market. And it's challenging to bring a new product to market, especially with COVID. You got to make appointments with the doctors and, you know, you got to educate people about the need for it. Um, how CMS wrote the policy was after two to three years, uh, they take all the amount that the facility, um, you know, sold. So they take all the product that the company sold within the two to three year period and they come up with a formula and divide the amount, a certain amount every treatment for people on dialysis. So currently there's a product right now um, uh, that's made by Cor it's Corsuva. It's for to treat when you have severe itching when you have kidney disease. And let me tell you, I've had the severe itching and I think I would rather have pain than itching. Um, and what happens is they came up with a formula that, that that facilities will get nine cents per treatment, nine cents to deliver this drug to people. So the problem is, is that it takes, and I've heard some um, uh, examples of, it takes 1500 patients to not get the drug, to be able to give one patient the drug. And I just find this whole system flawed. I mean, especially managed care is getting a little bit um, uh, more people on kidney with kidney failure going on Medicare Advantage. And Medicare Advantage is not subject to provide innovation. So we need to have a comprehensive look of what's working, what's not working to ensure that people who have the illness are getting access to the treatment. Mm -hmm. uh, that will make our lives better. And it's really frustrating right now because, um, uh, you know, I don't think people are gonna continue to innovate in this space if people, you know, don't recognize the problem and fix it. When you restrict innovation, um, you prevent people from having hope and having solutions to their problems. Um, you know, every aspect of healthcare has innovation and kidney disease dialysis is hindered by the payment policies. And we need to really look at it and see how we can solve these um, problems because nobody's going to innovate. I mean, we're already at a, a deficit in my opinion right now. And it's also unfortunate because it's so exciting that the government announced all of these incredible innovation policies uh, to help spur innovation in the community <laughs> from, you know, uh, partnerships, uh, Kidney X, different things. But I mean, if the payment's not right, um, payment drives practice, as I said. 
So we really need to understand, um, is it worth a new company to be able to innovate something, uh, to create something, do all it, it, uh, the necessary work to get it to market, but then have their payment limited to nine cents? I mean, you can't even pay for the syringe for the drug for nine cents. who's lived with kidney disease our whole life and you know I I talk to people who have kidney disease every day I run the renal support network I founded it 30 years ago and we need solutions to our problems um, when we have health issues that's what healthcare is about and so we really need to um, look at this we need to make sure that nothing is a barrier to people having access to care we need to understand how managed care works and how they're not, um, they don't have to provide innovation, which, you know, people who have kidney disease don't know that, you know, when they pick a plan, they don't know that they're not going to be able to have access to innovation uh, because managed care only um, works on the basis of, uh, does that save us money? Does that have value-based care? Um, um, you know, when you're dealing with managed care and, you know, I understand the, the benefits of, you know, value-based care, I do understand it. But as a person who has the illness, um, I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about feeling better <laughs> and what are the solutions and so, you know, the term value-based care, um, I hear it all the time. And I just got off the phone with a patient that, you know, has to drive 45 miles for value-based care. So, you know, it means different things to different people. So it's really important we take the patient's perspective. And also the other thing that's really important is that the doctors have a relationship with us. We have a relationship. It's our partnership. I picked my doctor like I picked my husband. <laughs> and and it's just really important that the doctor like, sorry, can't help you. You know, we we can't pay for that, that solution for you. We can't, we, you know, we can't afford it or we can't get it. Or, I mean, that's not a conversation a doctor and a patient should have. And it's also said, I've heard from some physicians that they don't only want to prescribe innovation because the payment policy comes out and they have to take it away from their patient. Try taking away something that works for one of your uh, patients. It's, it's not an easy task. Once we get a treatment that works, we want to keep it.